Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're gonna look at how to run 6650 6, XT on macOS. Uh, the method we're gonna use is called GPU spoofing as we're gonna try to fool macOS so we're using different kind of card. So okay so let's get started. Um, so assuming you have 6650 XT, you can install macOS. Just it's not gonna be graphics accelerated. So what you hit, what you need to do is first of all to get the um, uh, location path of your GPU. It's the the easiest method is to go uh, to do it on Windows. Uh, like if you go to right click device manager and then go to display properties assuming that's your 6650 XT right click properties um, details and then go to uh, location path which is over here and the line we're interested in is is that second line so if we copy that, and let's say just paste it into Notepad, um, the location path we're going to use in macOS, we have to literally delete all of these ACPIs and just do it like that. So this will be like a path to our GPU. And delete that and over here and this one as well so this will be our path and we're gonna create a new SSDT uh, we're gonna use the the one that's been provided by open core package uh, which is called BGR0 SSDT BGR0 which we're gonna use to spoof um, our GPU so we're using kind of different the same um, um, the same family like Navi 23 but it's gonna be a different GPU of that family so what you have to remember is this location path that we're gonna use on our SSDT so we'll head over to macOS and we'll start it from there and here we are in macOS um, first of all, we have to check why our uh, 6650 XT is not supported in the first place. Um, in order to do so, we have to check um, um, AMD Radeon 6000 KEXT and it will show what are the supported um, uh, device IDs by macOS. So if we go to our system drive, system library extensions and open up the frame buffer text show package contents contents and info plist uh, if we go there and then our kit personalities we will find the uh, families of Navi controllers that are supported by macOS. So in, in our case, our 6650 XT is Navi 23 card, which if we Google it, this is our um, 6650 XT and the device ID is 100273EF. So if we go to Navi 23 and if you if we look at the supported device IDs um, and compare with the one we got, you can see that it's not listed there. It's 73E3, 73FF, but not EF. So in order to get it running, like to properly um, have a graphics acceleration. We have to spoof or just kind of fool macOS. So we are using one of these cards. 
one of the cards of these device IDs. Um, one of the cards that the closest to that 6650 XT, which is now a 23 card, is 6600 XT. And this is its device ID. And if you look at that, 73FF1002. 73FF1002. So this is natively supported by macOS. So we're going to create a new, um, we're going to basically use SSDT uh, BR G0, which will let us um, spoof the card. So, okay, let's get in, let's get to it then. Right. So, in order to get that SSDT, we can go to Open Core official website and download the Open Core package. I have it already downloaded. So if you open the the official Open Core release package, and if you go to Docs, ACPI samples, um, you will find brgo.dsl. So that's what you, that's what you want to use. So we just copy this to the desktop. And um, and remember the the location path that we saved uh, while we were on Windows. Basically, what we have to do is if you open the uh, this SSDT, uh, you can open that SSDT with the program called Mac ISL, which is. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. This is the this is the app. You can download download it from Git GitHub. I just I just basically Google it and download it. And then what we have to do in this SSDT, we have to replace the values of the ones that we saved in Windows. Basically, use those values and replace these two lines, that and that. So once you do that, uh, you can you have to compile this SSDT, which is very easy to do on this app. Just basically file save as and just save this save this as uh, AML or ACPI machine language binary file. Let's save it on a desktop. Here we go. Right, so we have our SSDT created. Um, so now, if we, I'm just going to use the sample sample OC file, OC folder. So copy, paste. Let's see, we have our EFI. We have to drop that SSDT into ACPI folder. And also, what we have to do as well is let's let's copy the config uh, we have to add the device property for for the graphics card so let's just create a new p list open it right what we have to do to add um, add a device property for the particular um, graphics card let's say okay so there are several ways to get the pci path in mac os you can uh, use a program as like a hacking tool or um, gfx util it's literally basically it's your preference what you want to use we can use gfx util as as in this example so right click on it, open with terminal, and it will list all our um, GPUs, or our PCI path to all our devices. And one of them is, if you look at that, this is the device ID of our GPU, and this is the path, this is the path PCI, and this is what we need in order to add that device property. So if you copy that, go to add section 
new child and just put that save it as a string as a dictionary and then add a new child so we're gonna add several properties to to this gpu one of them will be device id and the other one probably not very important but it is probably important if you want to uh, see your graphics card in about my mac uh, it's going to be model which will give us basically we'll give it an, a name any any name will work so let's say in our case if we call it xfx um, radeon 6050 xt this one 8 gigabyte probably will work and the device id we're going to use we're going to use the device id from the supported graphics card so so this will be the device id that we're going to use so but but this device id is going to be a data value and it's going to be a uh, we have to swap these two uh numbers basically two pairs basically we have to put like that ff ff 73 and then just put all zeros in there okay so we got that covered so assuming this is our efi we have to add that acpi to our efi in config plist the way we do it on let's say i'm using proper trees uh, oc snapshot function so we pointed, we literally pointed to our EFI OC folder and it just writes that um, SSDT to the config plist file. So now uh, as we added everything in there, uh, just save the file. So let's, let's double check whether we have that. So ACPI folder add. Uh, oh, okay, it's not enabled, so we have to enable it. And if we go to device properties and double check that GPU part of device properties. Okay, this is added. Everything's fine. So these are the things that we need. Is this SSDT and these two lines in there. And after reboot, Hopefully everything will work, or should work, and you'll be happy using your Hackintosh with an updated graphics card. Okay, thank you for listening, and hope, hope this helped.